Earth is a pretty special and unique planet. So far, we haven't found anything like it in the entire universe. But that doesn't mean a super-Earth doesn't exist. In fact, they exist. And the chances are good for finding planets even better for life than our Earth. Now the hunt is on to find liquid water, because where there is water, there might be life. A new telescope is set to launch on October the 31st, 2021. It's packed with some amazing technology that might finally answer the big question, is there another Earth, or even a planet better than Earth, just waiting to be discovered? The human race is about to find out. Earth is the only planet we know of so far to have large bodies of liquid water on its surface, covering more than 70% of the planet. Other inner planets like Mars could have been wet early, and evolved life before it became the harsh, barren world it is today. But finding liquid water on an exoplanet like the Earth, or even a super-Earth, is just the beginning of our search. Because if we discover liquid water on a planet's surface, the chances are good we're going to find life as well. This is because all living things need water to survive. Almost all the processes which make up life on Earth can be broken down into chemical reactions which require a liquid to break down substances. Observations from space and the ground have found abstract water to be one of the most abundant molecules in the universe. In fact, the Japanese spacecraft Hayabusa 2 recently brought back samples from an asteroid that has signatures of water and organic material. The most amazing thing found was the asteroid didn't pick it up from somewhere, but is the source. This means there could be many super-Earths with water just waiting to be discovered. If you want to see a video about the Hayabusa 2 mission, let us know. If we're searching for an exoplanet that's going to have liquid water, it needs to meet some criteria. For one, this planet needs to be a certain distance from its host star. If it's too far away, any water on the planet will freeze, unable to support life. And if a planet is too close to a star, everything would burn away, including oceans and any atmosphere. The interesting thing is that scientists from NASA have recently said exoplanets with oceans may be common in our Milky Way galaxy. But with the current technology we have, there isn't a way to detect liquid water on the surface of an exoplanet, not just yet. However, there is a way to look at a planet's atmosphere and detect water vapor. And if there's water vapor in the air, chances are good it's evaporating from the ground or coming from huge oceans. In 2015, the Kepler Space Telescope found an exoplanet the size of eight Earth masses called K218b that orbits a red dwarf star and is located 124 light years from Earth. Its gravity is a bit stronger than the Earth, but it's the pressure on this planet that's intense. We'll get to that later. In 2017, data from Spitzer Space Telescope confirmed this super-Earth to be orbiting its host star in the habitable zone and taking just 33 days to complete an orbit around its star. K218b is the best candidate as a habitable planet that NASA has ever found. This is because in 2019, two independent research studies combining data from the Kepler, Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescope found a surprising amount of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere. Researchers took that data and examined the spectra of starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere during transits, or when the planet passed in front of its host star. K218b has a hydrogen-helium atmosphere with a high concentration of water, ranging from between 20 and 50 percent. It's even suggested that this planet has rain clouds. K218b also gets the same amount of radiation from its star as the Earth does from the Sun. So, if we could travel faster than light speed, could we go live on K218b? Some researchers say that the planet has a large and extremely thick atmosphere that creates high pressure conditions that might prevent life as we know it from existing. But there is also no surface for us to land on. That's because most of the planet is surrounded by a huge gas envelope. There is probably some sort of rocky core that's surrounded by a massive hydrogen gas envelope that has some water vapor in it. That means landing on this planet would be nearly impossible. And since the gas is so thick with an incredibly high pressure, 
any Earth-created spacecraft sent there would be destroyed, crushed and squeezed from the millions of bars of pressure. That doesn't sound like any place we can inhabit. But don't give up hope on us finding a super-Earth just yet. First discovered in 1999, TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool red dwarf star with a radius slightly larger than Jupiter and lies about 39.46 light-years away from Earth. On February 22, 2017, NASA announced the discovery of seven Earth-sized rocky worlds orbiting the single star, and every one of these planets have the potential for having water on the surface. Just a year later, in February 2018, a closer study found that these seven planets could have more water than the oceans of the Earth, and three of these planets are just the right distance from the star to be warm enough for liquid water. The Hubble Space Telescope was used to find that TRAPPIST 1b and c unlikely have hydrogen-dominated atmospheres like gas giants. This makes a strong case the two planets are rocky and possibly hold water. But both TRAPPIST 1b and c have extremely thick and hot atmospheres, somewhat like the planet Venus. But unlike Venus, these exoplanets are too hot to allow the formation of sulfuric acid clouds. It's possible both planets could be so hot their surfaces are covered in molten lava. TRAPPIST-1d is the least massive planet in the system and likely has a compact hydrogen-poor atmosphere that is similar to Venus, Earth and Mars. It has half the gravity of our planet and it gets about 4.3% more sunlight from its star than Earth does and it lies on the inner edge of the habitable zone. This planet could have oceans or layers of ice. However, a new study shows that this planet could be more like Venus with an uninhabitable atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1e is an exoplanet which orbits around the habitable zone and is similar to the Earth's mass, radius, gravity and temperature. Astronomers say it has a compact atmosphere and this one has the greatest chance of being an ocean planet like the Earth. This planet really does have the chance of being potentially habitable for life as we know it. TRAPPIST-1f is likely a rocky world like ours, but is under a massive water-steam gaseous envelope at very high pressure and temperature. This planet could very well have a thick ocean of liquid water covered by an atmosphere rich in abiotic oxygen. However, this exoplanet may likely be no more habitable than any other gas or ice giant with water clouds in its atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1g could also have a thick global water ocean covered by an atmosphere containing hundreds of bars of abiotic oxygen. And TRAPPIST-1h is a cold world with temperatures around minus 155 degrees Fahrenheit, similar to the Earth's South Pole, and is likely covered in ice. However, scientists say it could possibly hold liquid water. The TRAPPIST-1 planets are all likely tidally locked, meaning that any of these planets could have a zone that's warm enough for life and doesn't get bombarded from radiation from their host star. Even though right now there is a lot of unanswered questions about the TRAPPIST-1 system, it is the most thoroughly known planetary system apart from our own. But soon, we might find out that one of these super-Earth exoplanets does have liquid water and life. The James Webb Telescope, a triumph of space science that might just be the most famous unmanned spacecraft since Sputnik, is set to be launched on Halloween, October 31st, 2021. And the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system are the first worlds it will observe. Its main goal of making the first detailed near-infrared study of the atmosphere of a planet orbiting the habitable zone. To find signs of an atmosphere, astronomers will use the James Webb Space Telescope's special near-infrared spectrograph, also known as a spectrometer, which disperses light from an object such as a star into a spectrum. Analyzing the spectrum of an object can tell us about its physical properties, things like the temperature, mass, and the chemical composition of the object. Atoms and molecules in the object imprint lines on its spectrum that uniquely fingerprint each chemical element present and can even tell us about the physical conditions in the object itself. The exciting thing about the JWST is that it will be able to see oxygen in alien atmospheres of planets orbiting their stars. There are at least 4,000 exoplanets that have been found so far, and many of these are orbiting in the habitable zone. 
The presence of life forms such as algae, plants and cyanobacteria here on Earth has filled our atmosphere with a vast amount of oxygen, about 20%, which is far more than our planet would have if there were no life on it. Studying the Earth helps us understand what we need to be looking for if we're going to find a super-Earth out there. And using the James Webb Space Telescope, plus a new technique developed at the University of California Riverside, researchers hope to see signs of oxygen molecules colliding with each other in the atmospheres of distant worlds. When oxygen molecules collide, they block a percentage of the infrared light that would be normally seen by telescopes. The James Webb Telescope will be able to send back data that researchers can use to determine what the chemical makeup of an alien atmosphere is. The JWST will also look at water worlds. Some of these can come too close to their star, or build up heat from a runaway greenhouse effect such as what happened to Venus, and they can lose their oceans to space. When this happens, radiation breaks apart the water into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. Hydrogen is the lightest, so it will quickly float out into space, leaving behind oxygen. Oxygen is one of the most exciting things to detect in a planet's atmosphere because of its links to life, but we don't know if life is the only thing that produces oxygen in an atmosphere. But the advanced technology and the technique will allow us to find oxygen in planets both living or dead. The chances of mankind finding life out there look good. We just haven't had the technology to detect it until now. Are you excited for what the James Webb Space Telescope is going to find? And do you think we'll find life out there? Tell us what you think. And don't forget to stay tuned here, because things are changing quickly, and it might be any day now that we finally find life and a possible super-Earth. <laughs>